Hello everyone. So here in this problem, we have to evaluate limit x tends to 0, 1 upon x whole raised to 1 minus cos x. Now before starting with the solution of this problem, I will assume the given limit as L. So here I will say let L equals to limit x tends to 0, 1 upon x raised to 1 minus cos x. Now, first of all, we will substitute the given limit that is x tends to 0 and we will check whether we are getting the indeterminate form or the finite value. And if we are getting the indeterminate form, then we will apply the L Hopital's rule to get the finite value of the limit. So, if we will substitute x as 0 over here, then we will get 1 upon 0 that is infinity and cos of 0 that is 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So, we are getting the form infinity raised to 0 and which we call as indeterminate form. So, now we have to use the L Hopital's rule to get the finite value of the limit. So, for that what I will do is I will take log on both sides so that this infinity raised to 0 will become 0 into infinity. So, I will bring this 0 from the power to the base. So, I will take the log on both sides. So, therefore, this will become log of L is equal to limit x tends to 0. Now, when I will take log over here, so here it will become like this form. So, log of A raised to B and we know that it is B log A. So, here this 1 upon x is A and 1 minus cos x is B. So, we will get 1 minus cos x into log of a that is 1 upon x. So, now if we will check then here we will get x is 0. So, cos 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 0. We will get first time as 0 and here we will get x is 0, 1 upon 0 infinity, log of infinity is infinity. So, we are getting the form 0 into infinity. Now, to apply the L Hopital's rule, we want the given function in the form of numerator upon denominator. That means, we want the given function in the form 0 upon 0 or infinity upon infinity. So, that we can find out the derivative of numerator and denominator separately by using the L Hopital's rule. So, to bring the given function from form 0 into infinity to 0 upon 0 or infinity upon infinity, we will take this 1 minus cos x in the denominator or first of all I will substitute the formula for 1 minus cos x and then we will take it in denominator. So, the formula for 1 minus cos x is 2 sin square x by 2. So, here it will become therefore log of L equal to limit x tends to 0 this is 2 sin square x upon 2 into log of 1 upon x. And now we will take this 2 sin square x by 2 in the denominator. So, that will become cosec square x by 2. So, this is log of L. Now, 2 is a constant I can take it outside. Limit x tends to 0 log of 1 upon x upon cosec square of x upon 2. So, now if we will check this then this will become 1 upon 0 that is infinity log of infinity is infinity upon cosec of 0 which is again infinity. So, now we are getting the form infinity upon infinity and hence we can apply the L Hopital's rule where we will find the derivative of numerator and denominator separately. So, now I will say on the next page that therefore, by L Hopital's rule, we will get log of L as 2 times limit x tends to 0. Now, we will find the derivative of numerator. Here derivative uh, numerator is log of 1 upon x. So, derivative of log of 1 upon x is 
वन अपॉन वन अपॉन एक्स इन टू डेरीवेटिव ऑफ वन अपॉन एक्स दैट इज माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेर नेक्स्ट नाउ विल फाइंड आउट डेरीवेटिव ऑफ कोसेक स्क्वेर एक्स अपॉन टू इन द डिनोमिनेटर सो द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ कोसेक स्क्वेर एक्स बाई टू इज टू टाइम्स कोसेक एक्स बाई टू एंड द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ कोसेक एक्स बाई टू इज माइनस कोसेक एक्स बाई टू इंटू कॉट एक्स बाई टू इंटू वन बाई टू सो दिस इज द डेरीवेटिव नाउ दिस एक्स विल गो इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड वी कैन कैंसल दैट एक्स विद दिस एक्स and we will only get 1x and the negative sign i'll take that negative sign outside so here we'll get therefore log of l equal to negative sign and here also we have negative sign so we can cancel both the negative sign so 2 as it is and this 2 will come outside which will cancel with the 2 which is outside limit x tends to 0 now here the negative sign will be cancelled x will go in the denominator so in the numerator we will get only 1 upon x is in the denominator cosec x by 2 cosec x by 2 is cosec square x by 2 cot x by 2 as it is and 1 by 2 as it is next this 2 will be cancelled this 2 will come outside will go in the numerator so therefore here we'll get log of l equal to 2 times limit x tends to 0 1 upon x cosec square x by 2 and cot x by 2 this is continuation of problem 1 based on infinity raised to 0 so now we will take this cot x by 2 or we can take cosec x by 2 in the numerator so when it will go in the numerator if we are taking cot then it will become tan x by 2 and if we are taking cosec in the numerator then that will become sin x by 2 and sin x by 2 and here x we can divide and multiply with 2 so we can get x by 2 so sin x by 2 upon x by 2 we can get the formula Or tan x by two upon x by two, we can use the formula. So, therefore, here I'll write log of l equal to limit x tends to zero. Next, this cosec x by two, one cosec x by two, I'm taking in the numerator. That will become sine of x by two. I'm also taking this cot x by two in the numerator. That will become tan of x by two. now in the denominator this x will remain and one cosec will remain now i can use the formula for sin x by 2 upon x by 2 or tan x by 2 upon x by 2 so for that now this 2 as it is over here so for that i'll multiply and divide this x by 2 or i can take this 2 directly over here so when it will come in the denominator that will become 1 by 2 or it can become the x by 2 so i'll take this 2 over here so therefore log of l is equal to limit x tends to 0 now sin x by 2 upon x by 2 so i have taken that 2 in the denominator and the remaining terms are tan x by 2 upon cosec x by 2 now we know the formula for sin x by 2 upon x by 2 and the value of this is 1 so therefore we will get log of l equal to limit x tends to 0 tan of x by 2 upon cosec of x by 2 it means here we have applied the formula limit x tends to 0 sin of kx upon kx equal to 1 next now here if we'll again substitute zero then we are getting the indeterminate form hence 
we'll again find out the derivative of numerator as well as for denominator so therefore this is a continuation of problem 1 based on the form infinity raised to 0 therefore log of l is equal to now here I can take this cosec x by 2 in the numerator so that will become sin x by 2 and here we will get limit x tends to 0 tan of x by 2 into sin of x by 2 and if we will substitute x as 0 then you will get tan 0 as 0 and sin 0 as 0 it means we will get 0 on the right hand side and the left hand side is log of l now we got the value of log of l but to get the value of l we have to take base as e on both sides so therefore on the left hand side we will take e raised to log of l and on the right hand side we will take e raised to 0 which is 1 so this e and log will be cancelled and therefore we will get l on the left hand side and the value of l is equal to 1 so the value of given log limits is 1 thank you